you mentioned to me that you have a lab in your home and then I said that you're basically Rick from Rick and Morty, which is something I've been thinking this whole conversation. <laughs> and then you say that there's a uh, glowing pickle <laughs> that you used something involving cold plasma, I believe. I don't know, but can you explain the glowing pickle situation? Uh, <laughs> 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 and is there many uh, arbitrarily many versions of you in alternate dimensions so, okay. that you're aware of? I tried to make an electrochemical memory in at home um, using a and the only way using a pickle. And the only way I could get any um, traction with it was actually by plugging it into a very high voltage alternating current and then putting in a couple of electrodes. But my kids weren't impressed. They're not impressed with anything I do, any experiments I do at home. I think it's quite funny. But you connected a pickle to some electro, I mean- you... To 240 volts, yeah, AC. Yeah. And then had a couple of electrodes on it. So what happens is a pickle, um, <laughs> this is a cl classic thing you do. I mean, I shouldn't, pranks you do. You put a pl pickle into the mains and just leave it, run away and leave it. Mm -hmm. And what happens is it, it starts to decompose. It he heats up and then explodes because the water turns to steam mm -hmm. and it just violently explodes. But I wondered if I could cause the iron, sodium potassium ions in the pickle to migrate. It'd been in a, in a jar, right? So it'd been in a, in a brine. That, that was, yeah, that was not my, that was not my best experiment. So I've done far better experiments in my lab at home. At that time it was a failed experiment, but you never know. It could, uh... Every experiment is a successful experiment uh, if you stick with it long enough. Well, I mean, I get I got kicked out of my own lab by my research team many years ago, and for yeah. good reason. I mean, my team is brilliant, and I used to go and just break things. So what I do do at home is I have a, a kind of electronics workshop, um, and I prototype experiments there. Then I try and then I try and suggest to my team sometimes maybe we can try this thing. And they would just say, oh, well, that's not going to work because of this. And I'd say, aha, but actually I've tried and here's some code and here's some hardware. Can we have a go? So that I've, I'm doing that less and less now as I get a bit, even more busy. But um, that's quite fun because they, they feel that we're in the, you know, in the experiment together. 